I pick up the phone finally, I answer him because he's been calling me a lot, and I say, you know, what is it? I'm busy, I can't talk right now, can I call you later? And he um, says, well, uh, I got the mom on the phone with me, your mom on the phone with me, and, you know, we've uh, got some news to tell you. And I was like, well, what is it? And he goes, I've got cancer. Immediately, uh, thankfully, there's a seat there because I immediately fell um, to a seat and um, I felt horrible uh, because, you know, I, I hadn't talked to him in several weeks. I just couldn't think of anything worse that could happen at that moment in my life. I just didn't want, I didn't want that to happen. I didn't want it to happen. My dad's cancer um, turned, turned into a huge spiritual movement in my life, not only in his life, but also uh, in mine, um, and it affected it affects who I am today. Um, I'm, a, I'm a different person now because of where this cancer has taken me, where my dad's cancer has taken me, has put me into a, a different point in my life. My, my life would be astronomically different um, if my dad didn't go through this. My wife and I ended up getting pregnant and at that semester, and also that semester I got a 1.28 which was a, a super, super, super low GPA. My dad's cutoff was a 2.5. He told me that if I ever make below a 2.5, then I was gonna have to pay for the rest of my college. He was, he was not a happy camper at that point in time because, you know, I'm telling him that school's useless and I've got a, a pregnant girlfriend. And, um, and then so he, he asked me, he says, what are you gonna do? And he's like, well, first I'm gonna go get married. And then next, I'm probably figuring that I'm just going to have to drop out and be in, in, you know, go work at a restaurant or something and, uh, and get to and start providing for my family. And then he prays um, and he thinks about it and he comes back and he says, uh, Dustin, I don't think that it's good for you. Uh, I, I've... I feel that I am supposed to give you love. I feel like I'm supposed to love you through your situation. And, you know, and keep in mind that at this point in time, he is hitting himself with interferon every day. So he's in the middle of chemo uh, going through all this. And he says, and he tells me that he's supposed to hit me with love. And, um, and he decides that he's going to continue to support me through my college. That was uh, huge, what my dad did for me, not only in able to provide me a future and provide my family a future, but for generations to come, you know, his decision right there was changed for, for multiple generations uh, of our quality of life and what we're going to be doing in our life. Um, and it changed me because of his grace, then I am at a one, completely different position than where I would be um, if I didn't have it.